I was immediately, you know, drawn to her uh, from the minute I saw her, and that never changed. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celeb couples who got together before they were famous. You can plan all you want to, and you're going to be throwing a lot of curveballs, and you're able to enjoy all that comes with it. For this list, we're looking at famous pairs of lovebirds who found each other before they found fame. Which of these couples makes you believe in true love? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. LeBron and Savannah James Although they got married in 2013, LeBron James and his wife Savannah have been together since the early 2000s. The two were students of rival high schools in Ohio when they met. After a pivotal dinner at the Outback Steakhouse, they started dating. And right as James was about to be thrust into the NBA spotlight, they found out they were having a child together. Tell mommy to get up, Bracey. The two managed to take both pieces of good news in stride. As the basketball legend's star began to rise, their bond only seemed to grow deeper. And this is the lady and the woman I've been with um, through all the good and all the bad. The high school sweethearts now have three children and an incredibly strong relationship. Number 9. Elizabeth Banks and Max Handelman Actress and director Elizabeth Banks met her husband, Max Handelman, the first day she started her college career. Well, I went on one, the greatest date of my life, my husband, my now husband, mm -hmm. who I met my first day of college. Little did they know that the relationship that sprouted there would blossom into an entire life together. While Banks started gaining recognition as an actress, Handelman worked a job on Wall Street. Eventually, she convinced him to found the production company Brownstone Productions in 2002. Together, the college sweethearts have developed projects such as the Pitch Perfect franchise and the 2019 reboot of Charlie's Angels. Bowl cuts. Bowl cuts. Bowl cuts. The couple got hitched in 2003 and are the parents of two boys. Between their long relationship and exciting upcoming projects like Cocaine Bear, it's fun to root for Banks and Handelman. It kind of seems like the thing that stays with the man forever. Number 8. LL Cool J and Simone Smith the love story between rap legend and actor LL Cool J and his wife Simone Smith dates back to the late 80s. You know, we both come from mm -hmm. a spiritual background mm -hmm. and um, compromise, a lot of compromise. Mm -hmm. Back then, he was already getting name recognition in the industry thanks to the release of his critically acclaimed debut album Radio in 1985. The rapper was also just 19 years old when he was introduced to Smith by his friend, who was her cousin. That chance meeting led to an eight-year relationship that led to the couple getting married in 1995. They've stuck by each other's side through the highs and lows. And it'll stay that way. The best rapper you've heard is LL Cool J. LL even made scheduling adjustments to support his wife as she received treatment for cancer. Three decades and four children later, the two remain as happy as ever. She told me she wanted to start a line. She wanted to give a portion of the proceeds to the American Cancer Society, and at the same time, help people look stylish and flavorful, and I thought it was a great idea. Number 7. Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Brad Hall In the early 80s, Julia Louis-Dreyfus and her future husband Brad Hall were added to the regular cast of Saturday Night Live for its eighth season. Shift Listen, here. honey, I can change! No, 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 you don't need to change. You're a wonderful girl. Many might assume that's where the pair first encountered each other. But their relationship actually predates their dual SNL stint. Well, I'd just like to say that I am incredibly excited <laughs> about moving to New York, working on Saturday Night Live. While they were both students of Northwestern University, the Veep star and her writer-producer husband met when she joined his improv troupe, The Practical Theater Company. I know we can go to McBroadway! McBroadway! <laughs> Their SNL reunion paved the way for a fairy tale wedding in 1987. In the years since their wedding, they've supported each other's personal and professional goals. Hall even directed a few episodes of Veep for good measure. You have so oh. many more important things to do well, thank you. than our stupid show that no, we put together with show. scotch tape here. No, I love uh, this show. Number 6. Stefan and Aisha Curry NBA MVP Stephen Curry met his wife Aisha Curry back in the early 2000s at the North Carolina church they both attended. Although they didn't start dating there, they reconnected after they started their respective careers. We were just two kids just enjoying life together and... Ironically, Aisha Curry initially rejected her future husband's first attempt to go on a date because she wasn't sure about going out with an athlete. But she gave him a shot and found he was much different than what she was expecting. Within five years, the two got married at the same church where they first met. 
The superstar couple have had three children since they tied the knot. It's safe to assume that Aisha Curry does not regret going on that first date. I do like a little sign and then I kind of smack my tattoo and she does the same um, right before the game, so it's a little, little something. It's a reminder for him to have fun. Like, his job should be fun and I never want him to lose that. Number five, Lynn manuel Miranda and Vanessa Nadell. These days, Lynn manuel Miranda is known as both the creative force behind the hit musical Hamilton and as a confident stage and screen actor. But back in high school, the multi-award winning entertainer could not muster up the courage to talk to his crush. After they graduated, Miranda invited Nadal to a couple of his shows. A hangout after the second performance helped the two realize how well they complimented each other. Our first date, we danced to Mark Anthony, we watched the Jay-Z documentary Fade to Black, and played <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. The two started dating shortly after, and got married in a beautiful ceremony worthy of its own Broadway adaptation. Seeing how they publicly love and support each other has made them an inspirational and aspirational couple. It's really fun to um, to be able to see your spouse like doing the things that he loves and being appreciated for his work, so it's, yeah. it's wonderful. Number four, Denzel Washington and Pauletta Pearson. You can bring her out if Pauletta, you want. you should come out. <laughs> oh, she's not going to be ready. Soon after earning his bachelor's degree from Fordham University in 1977, Denzel Washington got his first acting role in the television film Wilma. Because now that she's an Olympic star, she got to go out with a hot shot basketball and football captain, you know, like in the movies. While on that set, Washington met actress Pauletta Pearson. I thought he was cute, but I fell in love with his spirit, really. Really? Yeah, that, yeah. that I saw first. And then I thought, mm, not a bad package, you know? Not a bad... <laughs> they reconnected months later at a mutual friend's party and coincidentally ran into each other again at a play later that night. And I got there late, so I snuck in and just sat down. I didn't look at who was around me. And at intermission, the lights came up and we were sitting, sitting next, next to, to each, other. each other. Those fateful encounters would mark the start of what would be a lifetime together. After the awe-inspiring couple exchanged vows in 1983, they brought four children into the world. They've also seen one of their kids achieve massive Hollywood success. Actor John David Washington followed in the footsteps of his Academy Award-winning father and is now a highly sought-after Hollywood star. Number three, Samuel L. Jackson and Latanya Richardson. You know, he had a huge afro, and um, we were on a plane going to march in the protest against. Years before he became one of the highest grossing actors in history, Samuel L. Jackson was a student at Morehouse College while Latanya Richardson was studying at Spelman College. I'd seen her, I didn't, I didn't know who, who she was, but I, I made enough inquiries to know that she was an Atlanta city girl. After performing together at Morehouse and dating, they decided to tie the knot in 1980. The two went on to have a child named Zoe Jackson together. As they raised her, they both kept working in the industry. A foot massage just don't mean shit. Have you ever given a foot massage? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be telling me about foot massages. While Latanya Richardson can be seen in movies like Fighting Temptations, it's safe to say you'll see Samuel L. Jackson in at least one film a year. How can I help you? We're agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. The duo has worked together behind the scenes on projects such as The Last Days of Ptolemy Gray. It is just one of their many successful collaborations. Number two, Bono and Allison Hewson. Then known by his real name, Paul Hewson, Bono met Allison Hewson when they were both students at Mount Temple Comprehensive School in Dublin. He was a year ahead of her when they first met. After Bono lost his mother, Allison Hewson helped him through the difficult situation. I'm lucky I have an extraordinary friend that I've been married to for a long time, seems like since we were kids. These interactions brought them close enough to start a relationship. Although they took a break, they got back together and wed in 1982. Their union has produced four children. As Bono continued to tour, Alison Hewson was constantly there to support him while working on her own goals. They're the only men you can respect are the ones who fight for women, like them enough to fight for women. U2 songs like Sweetest Thing are completely dedicated to her. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. John Bon Jovi and Dorothea Hurley 
In a bit of irony, the committed, decades-long relationship between John Bon Jovi and his wife Dorothea Hurley began with an act of cheating. The two were students of the same New Jersey high school when Bon Jovi tried to copy answers off Hurley's papers during an exam. They eventually started dating while Bon Jovi was working on his music career. In 1989, the band was at the top of their game and on their first major world tour when the couple got married in Las Vegas. Despite being world famous, Bon Jovi and Hurley have done their best to shield their life from the public eye. Dorothea tells people, we try hard to give our kids a normal life. I never pointed to the TV and said, there's daddy. But they have let us in on their secret to a long-lasting relationship. Good old mutual respect. We work hard at it, but we enjoy each other and we never uh, fell for the trappings of what celebrity can do. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.